$25,000. That's enough incentive to kill as many tigers as it takes. And by the way, eight states in the United States have no laws around this kind of thing. You can imagine where the demand comes from. You know, it's a prestige symbol. You have a real tiger skin as your carpet in your living room. Okay, so what's in it for us to save the tiger? I mean, you save the tiger, you save a lot of things. A tiger rests at the top of the food chain. You save the tiger, you save about 20 to 80 square kilometers of forest because the tiger is a territorial animal, right? A lot of our research happens through forests. We're still discovering medicines. We're still discovering, uh, you know, our sources of fresh water. In India, 60 of our rivers originate from from forests, and that's the case with all of the tropical countries where tigers and really any other big cats like jaguars or leopards or uh, any other kinds of animals exist. Uh, and of course, there's there's the there's the story of wildlife tourism, which we don't want to talk about right now, but it, it brings a lot of money as well. So in the last five years, we've killed about seven thousand tigers. Last seven years, actually. If we went another five years, how many tigers do you think we'd have left? We'll just drive an instinct. Negative 35. So what do you think we can do? Stop killing tigers. Stop kill them. So actually, it's, it's not such a difficult thing. Tigers are cats. Cats have a lot of sex. They have a lot of sex, that means they reproduce. You know, uh, in gear, in the gear forest, we were left with just 14 lions, and we brought them up to 411. That's because people actually got together and decided we have to save these last 14 lions. It's possible, you know. Cats breed. That's, that's natural tendency. Uh, if you leave them alone, they will live. Change can happen when the Dalai Lama actually went out to the Tibetans and said, hey, stop killing cats, let's actually, let's actually stop using these skins. Huge number of Tibetans went ahead and they started burning these skins. Change happens, you know, if leadership actually participates. Change happens if you guys raise a voice, right? I mean, you guys are active on social networks. You guys have a voice in your, in your local communities, in your region, with your governments. So make a noise, I mean, use, use your social networks to, to, to talk. Uh, if you have the opportunity, go to a tiger sanctuary, visit tigers, because not only does that bring in money, it gives you a story to tell back in your, in your families, and people get to hear the tiger story. They get to hear what's wrong. I think, I think it would be an extreme pity if none of our future generations could see this animal in the wild. It's already quite difficult. Uh, I've seen a lot of tigers in the wild, but I think if we have to do it, we have to do it for our next generation. And that's all I have to say about this. I'm open to questions. What's with you and sex? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, sex sells, man. Sex sells. <laughs> you spoke a lot about we, 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 you know, we say we got together and saved the lives, you know. Yeah. Is, is there like, are you part of a group that? Uh, so I'm, I'm not part of any group. Uh, I mean, there, there are various groups that you can volunteer with. Uh, so I mean. For example, this year I plan to volunteer with the WWF to do some census-related efforts. Yeah. Uh, uh, but really, it's it's the community that needs to get together. So when I said we, in the case of the gear lines, it's the community around that forest that actually got together. Do you know what states in the U.S. Uh, don't have laws against like I, I'll have to check. Um, I have I have a report which has a list of states. So there are there are twenty odd states which ban the ban by the Tiger trade, keeping domestic tigers, etc. Seventeen states require a permit, and eight states actually have no laws whatsoever. Isn't it weird? There's fourteen lion tigers in India. Yes. Yeah. It's after that. This is just the recent census that came in out on the twentieth of March. Yeah, that's what like Karnataka has got more tigers in India than other states. Three hundred tigers. Yes, it's actually debatable. Uh, Madhya Pradesh says they have more tigers, and Karnataka says they have more tigers. Uh, the recent census says that the biggest uh, concentration of tigers is in Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. Right. Thank you. Thank you.